thought, I don't know. I thought it would be like classic cars or something, but they literally do seem like all Camaros. It can't be. There must be some other stuff there. Maybe Camaros are just really popular. I never do it. <clears throat> Enjoy uh, cars. I do. Yeah, I I would like a muscle car. They're they're neat. I do enjoy them. Like I say, my first uh, choice would have been a, uh, a, a Formula One racer, <clears throat> but uh, that's problematic in terms of money and licensing and fuel and whatnot and <coughs> maintenance. Yeah, so I, I, I enjoy cars. You know, they're not cyclones. They're still cool. <coughs> The Camaro party. Yeah, that guy I couldn't really engage that guy in discussion. I was like, yeah, uh huh, yeah, and giving him the, uh, you know, okay symbol because I've got music going and I just couldn't hear what he was saying. Blah, 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 blah. I assumed he was saying, get out of the way and <clears throat> go park over there if you're going to stay. Um, you know, but I was just, I just wanted to pause for a second and just see what was happening, right? So, uh, well, that's, see, that's a neat, uh, a neat vehicle. Not much for the flames, but I like the, uh, I like the, uh, what should we call it? The, uh, bureau or dresser, uh, behind. It seems like you can hold a lot there. <clears throat> stuff going on today. <clears throat> it's another neat one, a gold wing. It's pretty heavy duty. It's for heavy duty traveling. Like, what's this here? Um, walk something, it says on the sign. Uh, put yourself in her shoes. Put yourself in her shoes. Put yourself in her shoes. Above that is a sign that says Mattress Month. So I don't think the two are related. <clears throat> so once again, I have no idea what's going on. Some social activist thing. Uh, it's, it's at a furniture store, so I really don't know. It could be a furniture sale. Mm -hmm. uh, open house, blah, blah, blah. So there's lots going on. There a lot going on. <clears throat> so yeah, just rambling. I'm taking a maze to obscure where I live. So I go to the section of the town I don't live near, and then uh, to fuel the fool of yours. It's a Mustang. Maybe he's going to the Camaro party. I I, I see the attraction in a in a muscle car. Um, they you know they look good. 
you know, they're, they're torquing too. Um, I guess my issue is, um, you know, if you're buying a, uh, you know, if your interest is speed, then, you know, you need to get a sport bike, right? Um, you know, I, and I mean, I've seen videos, pretty reliable videos of this bike, the CBR 600 Double R, completely annihilating Ferrari 454, like annihilating these supercars, right? Annihilating. And, um, you know, the difference is in price, right? So, I mean, if you get a Ferrari 454, you know, not including maintenance costs, insurance costs, blah, blah, blah cost, right? Uh, what are you paying for it, right? $150,000, $200,000, $300,000 if it's some cool Lamborghini. And this bike is 11000 Right, so you can annihilate a $300,000 car for $11,000. So speed, you know, in the speed realm, uh, the sport bikes are really it. You know, they really are. So it seems like you can save $289,000 and just get a sport bike if you're interested in speed. So I guess it's the whole package, right? I guess, you know, you can drink your coffee while you're you're speeding. I don't know. You know, I, I don't. I don't dislike them at all. They're interesting. You don't get. Maybe I don't know. You can race in the rain uh, a lot easier. 